Uh, next thing I want to get into is articles. Now, I've always been a huge article fan. Uh, if you ask anybody, articles has always been uh, kind of the center of what I do. Um, we'll go to kind of the, the largest one here. Does anyone else use our uh, articles? What sites do you use, if you don't mind me asking? We mean articles. Oh, that's what I'm typing in there. That's the only one? Yeah, that's the one that usually ranks. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> I use Squido for a little bit or whatever it is. It's sort of hard. Yeah, Squido? Yeah, I've had so much more success with the Easing article. Yeah. Um, Easing is typically the one that pulls you in the organic rankings, the organic traffic. Uh, there's a few different techniques you can use to really take advantage of articles. Uh, Easing now only lets you do two outgoing links, which is you know, a little bit of a bummer. They used to allow you to do three. Uh, but it's still extremely useful. So what we typically do is we submit to easy and articles, but we're also monitoring about 40 to 50 other sites. And what we do is we see if they actually lose their ranking, then we cut them off. So you're kind of monitoring the rankings on all these different article sites. And if you see all the rankings for one, or let's say we're watching 50 rankings and they drop all of a sudden, then we know that, okay, we don't want to start submitting there anymore. And we constantly find new sites and get rid of old sites. Um, and that's how we, our article syndicators try to stay ahead of the curve. Because a lot of companies will keep submitting to these old article directories, which aren't really helpful. Um, once they hit a point where Google busts them or they violate the rules, uh, you're just wasting your time and you're probably diluting your content more than you should be. So I try to stay away from uh, sites that have got banned. eZine's been um, at the forefront for years. I only had one issue with them where someone called and said I stole their articles, which was completely falsified, and they banned my account instantly, even though I wrote the 80-some articles that were on there for clients. Uh, so they, if someone threatens them with a lawsuit, they will take them down, and I know competitors do do that. They will knock you out if they, they know they can. It's a loophole with easing. As soon as you mention the word lawsuit, they'll just delete the account without even getting involved. Um, I never got it back. I lost everything. Two years, uh, probably about 80 articles for clients. Um, yeah, it was, uh, and he, they got an email and they said, we don't want to get involved in the legalities. I barely knew who the person was. And they, they, they're a competitor and they got me, they got me taken off. So um, I've heard, I did, a, I did some research and on ripoff report and apparently it's pretty common. You know, so there's someone competing against me. They got a nice niche going. Let's report them because they'll take them right off. And I even have an easy, I heart easy and articles mug on my desk too, which makes it <laughs> twice as bitter. But, uh, do you but submit the same article to different directories or do you do a <coughs> variation of each article? Typically, now we're doing the same article. We used to have a piece of software we called Mad Lib software we made, mm -hmm. which would take common words and switch out to common words. So, you know, big with huge and. Um, we kind of got away from that. I thought that it was getting a little bit in the black hat, you know. Um, but it was, it, was a, it was a good strategy. Um, if you are going to submit to multiple sites, I'd recommend switching the title up a little bit. If just the title, you know, um, you're, you might notice some multiple first page rankings. Um, I started doing easy an article about seven and a half, eight years ago. And back then, you could use Go articles and find articles, these other, other sites, and you could literally have half of the first and second page with your articles ranking. Uh, not to mention all these backlinks you were getting, which was helping your site rank. Um, I'm, I typically like to syndicate the same article just for time now. We really start cranking out the content, and we don't have time to tweak each one the way I would like to. So if you have the time, I would switch it minutely, uh, you know, maybe five minutes on each article. Uh, submit it to maybe five different variations to five of the larger sites, and then the rest of the maybe 30 or 40 other sites, just keep it the same. You'll still get the credit for it. Um, I've seen some really high rankings in, uh, in e-zines for one of our past clients had cheap health insurance. If you type in cheap health insurance, they were number two. It's got like 17,000 hits in six months, uh, and it's just a fluff article. Um, we try not to write those fluff articles anymore. We try to be, again, going more with the white hat, try to be more educational, try to be less just sticking up content with keywords and getting the links. But uh, it's definitely, 
you know, it's definitely a challenge, but I think as, as we're growing as a company, our clients are willing to spend more with us to have that level of professional ability where when we first started, I mean, it was do whatever you want, get me traffic, I don't care, whatever you need to do. But, um, you know, as our company is kind of maturing and, and our clients start to grow, uh, we have to start abiding by more stricter rules. And